Florence Fulton, and today we are going to talk about my presentation, the Carnabis Black Cockatoo. The Carnabis Black Cockatoos, native birds that can only be found in southwest Western Australia, are dying in the brinks of extinction. Their habitat is a vast swathe of wood and heathlands of WA regions, which have more than 300 mm annual rainfall, from Esperance to Cape Arid in the east, going upward passing Hatter Hill, Lake Cronin, Lake Moore to Calberry in the north. Data shows that decades ago, there were lots of them. Thousands of flying flocks would blacken the sky. Now, only few of tens can be seen, hundreds if lucky. According to BirdLife Australia and the newest Great Cocky Count census, only around 20,000 Carnabis black cockatoos left in the wild. Deforestation, land clearing for housing, businesses, roadworks, farming purposes, all human activities cutting down trees without replacing them are eliminating the Carnabis food sources and sanctuaries. Making this helpless, loving, peaceful bird starve and have nowhere safe to live. Does they die due to the starvation and the harsh environment? On top of all that, the Carnabis black cockatoos are also slow in reproduction. They can only lay two eggs per clutch just once per year. Compared to their rivals, the galas and the white corellas, they can produce five eggs per clutch two times per year. And the carnabies are also quite slow in finding natural hollows as their nest to breed. They cannot compete with faster and more aggressive galas, corellas, and the feral European bees, which usually had already claimed or occupied the three hollows. By knowing all of the Carnabis black cockatoo's unique behaviors, we can help to increase their population. Research shows that the inventions and placements of artificial nests, that is the Carnabis crusaders and many participating environmental companies' cockatoos, are proven to increase their breeding attempts, hence hopefully their populations in the future. We should care about it because without our help, the Carnabis black cockatoos could be extinct within the next 10 years. Carnabis black cockatoos are not only the sacred totem birds for the Aboriginal people, the harbinger of rain, but they are also an important umbrella species whose existence helps to protect the life of other species within the ecosystem as well. The protection of the Carnabis black cockatoos leads to the protection of the bowdens and the red-tailed black cockatoos and the endangered native flora, the Banksias and the Hakeas in the heathlands of the Swan Coastal Plain. We can help the Carnabis black cockatoos by keeping them in a safe watch, by joining the action to save the Carnabis black cockatoos groups, such as the Carnabis Crusaders, the Karakin, Bird Zoo, and BirdLife Australia. Bring people with one spirit and one vision together. We can also plant trees which are the food of the carnabies, such as the banksias, pine trees, eucalyptus, and the maris. And by volunteering to do the great cocky count to keep up with their population. Also by providing a nurturing environment for them, like giving a bird bath in scorching WA summer heat to keep these majestic birds alive. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Hopefully all this information will help us to understand more on how to protect the endangered cannabis black cockatoos for many years to come. Bye for now.